Hello everyone, this is Anubhuti from Sensitive.com. Welcome back to my channel and today we are going to do a palette review, eyeshadow palette review, swatches and two makeup looks from the same palette. I'm planning to do all my eyeshadow palette reviews in this way where I will do a mini review and then swatches and then two makeup looks to give you more idea about how you can use your palettes. So today, uh, as you know from the title, we are going to talk about Lakme eyeshadow portrait um in the variant desert rose like me is an indian brand and has been around for a really really long time we most of us have started their makeup journeys from Lakme product. So I decide I thought why not start my palette reviews from uh, Lakme. So uh, yeah without any further ado let's start so first we'll talk about the packaging uh this is how the like my eyeshadow portrait looks like um it comes with the outer carton sleeve which is of rosy pink color which i threw and i have anyways the older packaging it used to come like this in a maroon case now it has changed and it is also as a pale pink this is a plastic which is quite sturdy i have dropped it a couple of times not a couple of times, a lot of times, but still it survived all the fall. And, and inside the palette looks like this. It has like four shades and then a sponge tip applicator, which is of no use. Uh, as you can see, I have used it barely and it's just falling apart. So I just kept it to for the review purposes and now I can throw it. And uh, yeah, this is how the layout, layout looks like. There are four shades, all shades are metallic. One is pure gold, other one is a uh, pink with gold reflects in it and then one is like a sunset bronze shade which is like bronzy gold shade and, and last one is copper bronze. So uh, these are the four shades, these shades don't have any names. Coming to texture and consistency, these are not at all chalky, super duper soft to touch. As soon as you dip your fingers in the shades, you can feel these are like super creamy, super soft to touch. And see, I just barely touched it and you can see the product on my fingers. Coming to the staying power, a staying power of, power of these eyeshadows are really good. These survive on my eyes actually 9 to 5. I do not use eyeshadow base on everyday basis. Still, I have not no noticed any kind of creasing or fallouts throughout the day. I have normal skin which tends to get oily in summers and uh, dry in winters. But still, I have never faced any kind of challenges like uh, catching on to dry patches or creasing uh, no issues of such sorts as you can see i have used these quite a lot uh, i use them as office wear as party wear all kinds of makeup so this is uh, one of my favorite quads uh, now let's see the swatches the first shade is gold This is pale gold, which will suit uh, an array of skin tones. I am around NC 2025 and it looks gorgeous on my eyes. I, I sometimes use this even as a highlighter because this does not have any chunky glitter. This gives proper healthy sheen to my skin. Second shade is pale pink, which is this shade. This is also very light pink with alex sheen to it. The third shade is metallic bronze. And then the fourth shade, it is the coppery bronze, just deeper bronze. These are the four shades. I like to use these with uh, my fingers as well as with brush. If I like to intensify uh, looks, then I sometimes sweat the brush. But with these, uh, these swatch equally great with fingers as well as with brush. Now let's do two eye makeup looks using this palette and then sum up my thoughts. So yeah, 
we'll start uh, for the first eye makeup look i'm going to do very very subtle eye and then the second eye look, makeup look we'll do a little bit for the party wife so for the first makeup look i am taking this uh, beautiful pale pink shade on a flat brush and then i'm applying it all over my lid As you can see, uh, even with the brush, it is laid down really beautifully. So I have just applied this all over my lid. Now I'm going to take a fluffy angled brush. And then I'm going to take uh, this light bronzy shade. And then apply it on my outer part of my eye. Like a V shape. So first I am just stamping the shade like this. You can use the same flat brush, but I like to use a fluffy brush because it gives me more control. Plus it is angled. So it gives me a control to create a V in the outer part. Once I have laid down the shade like this, I am going to just softly blend it using the same brush slightly into my crease like this slightly above my crease now i will take the same pink shade i have taken before on the flat brush and will intensify the inner portion once again and slightly blending it with the bronze shade we applied just take the same fluffy brush we used before and just blending it out i'm going to take a pencil brush and use the same pink shade in the inner half of the eye on lower lid and then the bronze shade on the outer half of the eye. Now I'm going to take the golden shade uh, on my pinky finger and apply it on the inner corner of the eye to give it a pop in the corner. You see how it instantly adds a jazz in the inner corner and the eye looks more open. Now I'll apply some cold to tight line my eyes and some mascara and we'll be back to show you the first eye look. Okay, so this is a perfect finished first eye look. Now let's move on to the other eye. For the other eye, we are going to do a bit uh, smoked out, more of a festive kind of look. So yes, for that I am going to start with the light bronze shade and apply it with a flat brush all over my lid so first I applied the light bronze shade all over my lid and then I'm going to take the deeper bronzy shade like a copper bronze shade on the same brush and then apply it in the outer and inner corner kind of give it a halo sort of look Now I'm going to take the same uh, angled fluffy brush and take the deeper bronze shade on it and then I'm going to again intensify and then blend it in the crease. Now I'm going to take the golden shade on a flat brush, on a clean flat brush, I'll apply it in the center part just to give that halo effect. If you want, you can cut your crease, you can apply some concealer, but I am going to do directly and I'm going to just show you how the shades show on top of each other. So this I am going to apply it on the very center part of the lid and then let's give it a halo effect. 
so once i gave that a uh, pop of gold in the center i'm going to take the again the same brush which i was using for to apply dark color with no product on it and just blend the crease and then blend the golden shade with the outer inner corner so i'm going to say take a pencil brush and then apply directly the deeper brown deeper copper brown uh in the inner and outer third of the eye and in the center part i'm going to apply the golden shade now for the last uh bit of smoky touch i'm going to take the same deeper bronze shade on a pencil brush and then apply it as a faux liner like this now if you feel like that the gold is missing the intensity you can again take it on the flat brush and then intensify it so yeah this is it for the other eye look i will just apply the charcoal and the mascara and then we'll show you the final uh, look for the other eye so this is it for the other eye makeup look let me show you a bit close up let me show you the close up of both the eyes You can customize these eye looks as you want. You can add a white coal to open up your eyes more or you can add eyeliner or falsies as you like. I just wanted to show these on your own. This is like a more simple pink and all. And this one is more of a grungy look. So that is it. I will show you. I like to use this golden shade as a highlighter also. And uh, yeah, let me do that. I am using my uh, Real Techniques setting brush. It adds really slight glow which is not at all chunky or over the top just get, gives a super super natural glow now let's move on to some final thoughts I absolutely adore this palette I use it for my office wear for my party wear for my wedding wears uh, this has just perfect uh, colors which suit complements Indian skin tone really well. The, I, I absolutely love the formula. It is super soft. The stain power is quite good, uh, which I really, really like. This does not have any matte color in it. So you might miss uh, matte colors if those are absolutely necessary for you. But as you can see, I created two makeup looks and I did not use any other palette for that. So these are, this is sufficient on its own as well. Uh, and uh, that is what I like about it. One point uh, is the price point. The, the price, they have seemed to uh, increase the price for this one. It is now around, I think, 650 Not sure. I have done a detailed review of this one on my blog as well. There also you can see two makeup looks which I created using this one. And uh, I will link that in the description box below along with the price of this product. I absolutely recommend this one and I absolutely love this one. I am still holding on to it. I will keep using it probably till I hit pan on all the shades which I am very close to. So that is all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you really liked uh, this video and would like to see more such videos in the future, please leave in the comment section below. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it and see you in the next video soon.